Hey, it's Chris, and today we're up near Seattle. And what we're looking at here is some Idaho quartzite, gun smoke, or cowboy coffee. Would be the type of quartzite it is. I can tell some of the characteristics. And this is patio size material. Might even be smaller than patio size. It's there's a lot of small pieces in here. And this is not what the homeowner was expecting when she asked for a walkway and a patio. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on this and then turn it over to some local talent. A couple of problems here is, again, you can see these smaller pieces. And they're so small that it's easy when it's moist or even when it's not so moist for these smaller pieces to become tripping hazards. These are some of the ones that have already been kicked out. Things like this need to be set into cement. You cannot have items that small just free sitting on DG or road base in the landscape. So like now that one's not even set in there. It's just sitting on, looks like some um, spec mix, really, not even really road base. And the other problem is that in between the stones are large pebbles, probably just from the spec mix. And what should have been done is either a cement mortar or a quarter inch rock dust. Rock dust has different names. Uh, some people would call this decomposed granite, DG, crushed stone finds. In any event, anything from a quarter inch minus or smaller is what should have gone in between these. Initially, I thought about using a product from Technoseal, which is a liquid polymer. But the problem with liquid polymers is they absorb so much water that they would cork board up in the winter time. So I still haven't made up my mind what is the best material to bind this up if necessary. It might just be like 15% Portland cement as a way to go, but still a long ways away from there. A lot of this has to be removed with a hammer along the edges, clawed out, then filled back in. So the idea is to take pieces of stand-up or select stone. And these are kind of the mid-sized pieces, three to four feet. Yeah, you can get some big sheets, but uh, I'm doing this by myself, so I'm not carrying a 300-pound piece of flagstone around. And you can see this one piece replace three or four of the small patio-sized pieces, and then in this little piece here. Not well secured. This one's just sitting on the top. Nothing securing it. Things like this can be reincorporated into the landscape in different ways. Like a little dry stack wall can be made up against the slope here. Kind of give it an attractive front, keep it from spilling over. So we'll explore that option after we get a lot of it removed. And don't ever let the contractor choose a stone. You know, it's your money. You wake up each day and come out to your yard. You need to choose a stone that you want to see day after day and the right size and that's why you want to visit stone yards either online and make sure you're getting full size pieces or the correct size pieces in this case some full size and patio would have been great just not all these little junkers